In this video, I'm going to show you how to define CSS colors using RGB. RGB stands for, of course, red, green, blue. But the great benefit of using RGB is you can also define alpha, which is opacity. And in that case, you use RGBA values. And I'll show you both of those in this tutorial. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials. And with that out of the way, let's head over to the screen capture so we can learn how to use RGB colors in your CSS. I'll see you there. For these examples, I've created a bunch of heading twos and just changed the background color using RGB. And what you'll notice is that red is RGB 255 and then 00. Blue is 00255. And green is 02550. And uh, white is 25525255. And black is 000. And with, with those, we, we kind of set the boundaries of where all colors would lie. So every single RGB we'll have in the first, this is the red entry, so green, red, blue is the order. So the first character or the first number inside the brackets is gonna define how much red there is in a color. And the number is gonna range between zero and 255. The second number defines how much green there is, and that's also between zero and 255. The third color defines how much blue there is, and that's also between zero and 255. And using those combinations of those, those numbers, we define different colors. And that's really all there is to RGB values. Finding them can be a little more difficult. You can use color picking apps. You can use Photoshop or uh, other photo editing apps to, to pick a color as well, and they will tell you what the RGB code is. And so using that, you can easily set background colors like I've done in these with the background color selector and followed by the RGB. Something that's really cool about the RGB code that isn't possible with hex codes or color names to set colors is that you can set a transparency for RGB and before CSS3 you had to use images to, to create something that was transparent on a web page but now you can do it using RGBA and I'm just gonna uncomment this piece of code I have down below so we can see it on the page and I'm just gonna refresh the page here. So I have two boxes that are overlaid. The background is kind of pinkish and the front one is blue. And so what we can do is go into here. I have RGB defined for both of them. So this one right here is RGB that makes it blue because we'll notice that the, the blue value, which is the last one, is very, very high. So that color is mostly blue. But wait, what we can do is instead of RGB, we type in RGBA. And at the end, we add another comma and we add a number between zero and one. So I'm gonna add 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And this will make the blue element 50% transparent. So save this page, refresh, or refresh this page. And as you can see, we can now see the box from behind through the blue and it's kind of making a purple, purple color. So that is a really cool function of RGBA that you can't do with the other types of color, hex code and color names. And like I said, you can change this between zero and one and the higher the number, the more opaque the box will be and the lower the number, the more see-through it'll be. So 0.1 is barely even visible. And that's how easy it is to define colors in CSS using RGB. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials for you. Now go ahead and click one of these videos on the right hand side to learn some more awesome stuff. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.